What's up, everybody? Jason's here. You know what? A new firmware version of S Series PBX has been released officially. Among many experiments enhancing improvements, we're really glad to announce Yealink T40G, VTEC ET635, and ET605 are supported by Yeastar Auto Provisioning. It will take less time to finish the registration by auto provisioning if you're using them. What's more, the custom template has also been improved. On the previous version of the custom template, we're able to configure common features of our IP phones in auto provisioning, but we can't set other features which are not displayed on the PBX. Now, the new firmware does support it on Yealink and VTEC IP phones by customizing configuration parameters here. Well, it's more than that we can do on our Yealink and VTEC IP phones now. And more and more brands of IP phones will be supported, of course. With the new firmware, we can add the function's corresponding configuration parameters to the custom template. Tips To realize that, we're supposed to study in deep on our phone functions and perform correct actions. One more feature we have on auto provisioning is supporting CSV template. You know the template simplifies the process to enter back IP phones and yay start TAFXS gateway registration. In the template file, enter basic phone information, manufacturer, phone model, and MAC address, as well as other parameters. Template, extension, label, and active. Once we've finished, just confirm it by saving and uploading to the PBX. All right, guys. These are three main improvements we have on this new firmware, and we've also improved some other features for your better using experience. For more details about our improvements, you guys can just go visit our website. Check the release note here. Okay, hope you guys like this video. Subscribe it if you're not already, and get the new firmware. Try it out. I will see you guys in the next one.